Hi, welcome to another tech tip. Today we're gonna to go over some basic principles on traditional anchor building. So every anchor is comprised of the same components. You've got the protection in the rock, you've got a carabiner on each piece, you have a cordlet or slings, you have another set of carabiners, and you have the rope. We're gonna break these down and show you a couple tips on each part. So in this video, we're not going to go into any detail about what protection is in or how to place it. This is simply an overview about the basic principles of anchor building. But you always want to have a minimum of three pieces of gear in the rock. And in each one, you're going to place a carabiner. You always want to ensure that when you place the carabiner, the gate is out away from the rock. That way, if the carabiner is hitting the rock, you're not hitting the gate and it's not opening. Simple way to place that, put the nose of the carabiner in, flip it, then the gate will be out and the spine is against the rock. So the next piece in the chain is the cordelet. Cordelet is a 15 to 20 foot piece of accessory cord, usually seven or eight mils. I just picked up a great tip from Chris Mack at Super Topo. I always used to tie my cord in one big long loop and he suggests not doing that. You simply tie a knot in both ends. I found it to be very useful because it enables me to easily separate it or you just clip the two ends together and it acts just like if you had it tied in a loop. What you're gonna do is clip the cordlet into one piece of protection, take the other end, Clip in the opposite piece of protection, take a loop, put it through the middle one. You're then going to equalize all three of these, like so. Tie a figure eight on a bite. And it gives you a master point. Now the reason you do this is if any one of these pieces fail, the other two pieces are still equalized. The other two pieces are still equalized. So the next section is attaching carabiners to the master point. That's where your rope's gonna connect. You can use non-lockers, you can use lockers, or you can use both. The most important thing is to ensure when you put the carabiners on that the gates are opposed. And by that, I mean that they open in opposite directions. Do not want them opening in the same direction because then something could fall in or out. So, put a carabiner on, flip it over, put a second carabiner on, flip that over, and make sure that they have gates pointing in opposite directions so that they cannot open together. So the last part is to attach the rope. You need to take your two carabiners, so you have to put it in opposite sides of the carabiner in order to get them in there. And there's your anchor setup, complete with your rope. So here we are in a different setup with different protection in the rock, but as you'll see, all the components are the same. We have carabiners, flipped so the gates are out. We have a cordlet attached and equalized. We have a master point tied off. And we have carabiners with gates opposed with the rope attached. Have fun, practice your skills, happy climbing.